F3A getting airborne in an extremely short distance off the grass and then another elegant biplane of the 1930s, the Gloucester Gladiator 1. used on fighters, bombers, and army cooperation aircraft, amongst others. Um So to the Blenheim, an aircraft with a remarkable story behind it. The design was conceived as many great designs were, as a private venture by the Bristol Aircraft Company. And at that time, Lord Rotherby, the owner of the Daily Mail, was after a high-speed transport aeroplane for his personal use. He funded the Bristol Type 142. Rothermere presented that aircraft to the nation as the Britain first and it very quickly attracted the interest of the air ministry because it was a great deal faster than quite a lot of the contemporary frontline fighters of the mid-1930s. It looked ideal for adaptation into a light bomber and that was the Blenheim. Blenheim 1Fs like this one were briefly stationed at RAF Duxford with number 222 Squadron, which was reformed here in October 1939 to help prevent channel shipping from Luftwaffe attacks. The squadron converted to Spitfires in spring of 1940. During the Battle of Britain, Blenheims were active as night fighters. Towards the end of 1940, they were starting to conduct night intruder missions over Germany. Blenheims were a Hector. Westland's design team met the requirement with this high wing monoplane with larger undercarriage spats, a good deal of cockpit glazing for the pilot and the observer. It was equipped with two forward firing machine guns, plus another one for the observer. He would even mount a total of six bombs on the scarf wings on those wheel spats. There were four squadrons of these aircraft that were deployed to France at the outbreak of war for artillery spotting and reconnaissance duties. One of them in November 1939 even managed to... Like the Blenheim, the Gladiator was initially designed as a private venture, but because the new monoplane fighters like the Hurricane and Spitfire were being delayed, the decision was taken to adopt it. Number 72 Squadron brought them into service first in February 1937. Four RAF units were flying Gladiators. When war broke out, two of them were sent to France. All their Gladiators had been lost within just ten days of coming up against the Germans in May of 1940.
even so, this was an aircraft that saw service in the Battle of Britain with Fighter Command, with just one squadron, number 247, stationed at Robra near Plymouth. Its role was to defend that part of the UK, and especially the naval dockyards of that city. However, they had no success, whether by day or by night. But also in use during the Battle of Britain were the Sea Gladiators of 804 Squadron of the Fleet Air Arm of the Royal Navy. They were flying from Hatston on Orkney throughout the battle again to defend an important naval base, namely that at Scarpa Flow.